Good morning, Alter Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing here. And today we're going to talk about the sphere of influence and more importantly, re-engaging with that sphere of influence. It's the first of the year. It's you know time to circle back and get on the deal. So uh, Bill Seitz is joining us as well. Good morning, Bill. Can you hear us? Good morning, Kevin. How are you? Doing fantastic. It's a, uh, it's a rainy day here on the Central Coast from the, uh, the, the satellite marketing office, but it's a beautiful day. And uh, how are you? Is it, is it really? It's raining. It's raining up there, huh? Oh, yeah. It's raining like, a, raining like, a, like cats and dogs up here right now. Um, it's, it's a bluebird day down here. It's uh, not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure our Northern <laughs> California agents are experiencing the same thing I am. <laughs> For sure. Um, well, I just want to start off uh, real quick before you get into your uh, sphere of influence reconnection, which, by the way, I think is uh, right now there's not a better time uh, to do that, especially uh, on the new year. Um, and there's not a, a better way to connect with people, uh, you know, at the start of a year, start of a new, new beginning, uh, fresh energy, fresh everything. But uh, right. I'll let you kind of dig into that here in a second. I just want to spend a minute. Uh, one, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope that everyone had a great holiday and got some downtime with friends and family and uh, maybe just taking a few days off for yourself and getting refreshed and recharged. I think that 2019 is going to be a strong year for real estate, even though we might see some, you know, maybe price not, you know, accelerating and, and, and going up, um, you know, in, in you know, certain markets are probably going to see maybe some, some pullback, yep. but I think the volume will still be there if, if we're doing our job and we're connecting with people, uh, we're, you know, getting out there, we're networking, we're doing all the things that we need to do as realtor. And, and, and in my, my case, a mortgage professional, um, I think that we can have outstanding years and I don't see any reason, even with the slight uptick in rates, why we can't have a very successful year. For sure. Um, on, on, on the mortgage side, I just want to, you know, uh, kind of go over a quick announcement. Uh, yesterday, I was in a webinar uh, with our primary wholesale investor partner, uh, United Wholesale, and they just announced yesterday, uh, I think I kind of had mentioned this in another webinar about the CEO, Matt Ishba. This guy is an amazing guy. Uh, he was on the University of Michigan State basketball team. This guy played under Coach Izzo. This guy runs his organization like a basketball team. He's high energy. He's got an amazing uh, view, you know, outlook and leadership. And he just announced yesterday that they dropped their, their interest rates on all their programs across the board. And, you know, what that translates wow. to <laughs> is they, this guy is a competitor. This, this guy is, I, honestly, he's like, I wish we could all, I wish I could get him on the web. <laughs> so you guys right. Could, could just listen to this guy talk. He's really inspirational. And um, I, I, I wish you would adopt me. <laughs> but <laughs> but, but uh, all kidding aside, he is an amazing, amazing guy. And he's very um, motivating to listen to. This guy competes like nobody I've met in this, in this business, in real estate or mortgage. And this guy has no motivation to, he doesn't need to do this, but he is a competitor. He's, this guy doesn't need to make any more money. He could probably sell his business <laughs> for X amount of dollars and sail off into the sunset. But yeah. this guy is about competing every day, getting to the office before the next guy, putting in the time, putting in the hard work. It's, it's unbelievable. I love and that. He literally wants to blow out, out you know, quick and loans, he wants to blow out, uh, you know, best guaranteed rate, all these competitors that we have in the marketplace. And he's saying, hey, on my wholesale side, I want to partner with you guys. I want you guys to succeed. I want you guys to kick ass. And I want you guys to grow in 2019. So it was really uh, a, a, an awesome um, webinar. They're basically shaving rates through all programs, government, VA, conventional, you know, it, there's, there's nothing that they're, they're going to be beat on in price wise on a 645 going above. So once again, it just positions Clearview being partnered with United Wholesale as honestly, I, I can't find a reason for you guys not to use us. And, and that's for your client's benefit. 
It's for closing on time. It's for so many reasons that, you know, we want to look good in this business. We want our clients to have a good experience. We want to <clears throat> look out for them, knowing that they're getting a competitive rate. There's so many things that we need to factor into our business. And I can seriously and honestly say that I don't know why you guys would not use us for your, for your loans because we've already incentivized you guys to, to get the whole commission on top of having the best rates in the industry with the best turn times, closing on time. Uh, I, I just, honestly, we, it's the table is set for 2019. And we really, really want you guys to utilize us so we can all grow this year. Let's make it an awesome year and let's, let's grow together. Heck yeah, Bill. And you know, we do have one or two new agents on the line. So just briefly go over our, our incentive program for using Clearview. Yeah, so what we did, guys, uh, for, the, for the new agents on the phone, um, we created a loyalty program. And to my knowledge, I don't know anybody else in the industry that's doing this. So what that means is if you have a buyer and you guys bring the deal in through Clearview, we fund the loan as you close your transaction, you guys will not pay a transaction fee. So if there's a $10,000 gross commission, you're going to keep $10,000. The only thing that we do take is a $75 compliance fee because we want to make sure that all of our files are compliant through the BRE, which I think everyone understands the importance of that, you know, being in this uh, environment yes. of doing real estate and legal contracts and having disclosures and the different things that we have in the various areas of the state. We obviously want to make sure that we're compliant one to protect you guys as the agent and one to protect the company. So, we really want to make sure that um, that's the case. So other than the $75 compliance fee, you guys are keeping all of it, the whole commission. We're not, we won't take another dollar. And um, I really feel that is an incredible proposition. So not only can you be confident on getting your loans closed on time, you're making 99% of the, I mean, I don't even know what, what it would, depending on the <laughs> amount of the commission. <laughs> It, yeah. it's, it's pretty much the whole thing. So um, that's our loyalty program. A lot of our agents are using it exclusively now. Um, and they realize that they can use those extra dollars. Uh, even if it's $600 uh, transaction fee, that can just go right back into the marketing, your marketing and leverage into another deal or, you know, put some, you know, flyers out there or whatever you're doing for your marketing. Yeah. Um, it's just more money back in your pocket, allows you to grow. Kevin, I know you're really, really good at giving agents ideas on what to do and how to spend their money. So um, I think that it's just a, a really good way for all of us to succeed. For sure. Uh, thank you, Bill. Really appreciate that. And we're looking forward to a good uh, 2019 with you. Um, so yeah, anything, and, and then also want to remind everybody that we do have a chat feature. So if you have questions, go ahead and um, you know, use the chat feature. We also can bring you on the line. You can ask questions. This is a completely interactive uh, webinar as usual. So uh, thank you, Bill. Absolutely. All right. And then also we do have uh, our corporate broker, Travis Breton on the line. Travis, can you hear us? I can hear you. How are right. you doing today? I'm well. Thank you, Travis. How are you? Uh, great. All right, good. So Travis always has some really good insight with all of the, uh, the things that we do here. And so we always want to uh, have Travis on the line. So today we're going to talk about re-engaging our sphere of influence. It's really important. Um, the NAR data tells us that 42% of all deals on average come from uh, agent's sphere of influence. So it's an incredibly important segment of our business to be engaging with our sphere of influence and doing it uh, effectively. Um, NAR also data tells us that 22% of sellers work with a realtor they've worked with before. This would be a much higher if realtors did a better job of re-engaging their sphere of influence, past clients, all of those things. So um, uh, would you agree with that, Travis? <laughs> I definitely would. I was actually just talking to an agent uh, uh, late last week who was upset because uh, he had reached out to a, uh, a buyer that he had pulled a home to a couple of years ago and found out that he had just listed it with another broker. And so he was kicking himself. He's like, I should have done a better job keeping in touch and 
You know, he missed out on a six hundred thousand dollar listing. How often so, do we hear that? We hear that all yeah. the time. And and the client said, oh, I I just I totally forgot about you, and I totally would have used you. You know, he had no reason not to. He just wasn't top of mind. You know, he was not top of mind. He was not omnipresent. You know, so that's why he lost that deal. He could have had that yep. deal easily. He should have had that deal. Yep, that was an easy one. That those are easy. So these are this is the low lying or the low hanging fruit. You know, and it just it's too it's it's right there. So agents forget about it. They, oh no, I gotta you know I gotta spend all this money on uh, marketing and you know new leads and internet leads and all this stuff. When the biggest, your biggest, you know, group of, of sales is going to come from your sphere of influence. So really, really an important thing. I think we pound on this all the time, but it's, uh, it's worth pounding on. So before we go into a couple of, of good strategies on how to re-engage, just wanted to, I, I was uh, part of a, of a conference not long ago that was talking about the best practices and what do the top agents in the industry do? So I just have a, a cool little, you know, kind of a, a rundown list. Um, you know, so uh, the, the best agents in the industry, they are kind, they are willing to help, they are willing to share, and they are, they have a philanthropic kind of an, ad, uh, an attitude. Um, they have a commitment to kindness. They have a commitment to helping their clients um, and they are part of the community. So another thing that, that we, we have found with all of these you know, top producing agents is they are part of the community. They have a coach or a mentor. They use these coaches and mentors to keep them accountable. They join mastermind groups. They, uh, they're in constant state of motion. They're, they have a calculated constant momentum. Um, you know, they wake up early and they go to bed late. Um, they are involved with clubs, sports, kids activities, local events, charities, clubs, rotary, all of that kind of thing. Um, these, these top agents take a, a nice vacation once a year. They relax. They understand the value of those things as well. Um, another uh, kind of an interesting note is they talk while standing. So this is something that I always do. I, I, I stand at my desk. I, I don't sit at my desk. I haven't sat at my desk in probably eight years. And so I think that was a kind of a funny one that, you know, stuck out to me. Um, another thing that's important with these top agents is they have a systematic approach to their business. Chaos does not rule the day. They are in control of the day. Um, they have a plan for the day. The day doesn't ruin, it doesn't run them. Um, we all know that that, you know, things can go awry, but if you are just, you know, running around by the seat of your pants, that doesn't, it's not effective. Um, another thing that these, all of these different agents had is they plan for results. They have a CRM, they have a transaction management system. They do automated marketing. They utilize technology. They think systematically. Um, so these are just kind of the, the uh, you know, the ingredients for success, even before you start thinking about re-engagement and all of these other things, just having the mindset um, of the, you know, these kind of, uh, of being the top agent, that is really going to, you know, uh, set you up for, for uh, success. Uh, Travis, you have anything to add there? Um. No, I think that's all really, really good info. Um, I, I made some notes um, to speak about as well, just some things pertaining to uh, the time of year that it is, that it's a really good time of year to be reaching out, re-engaging with uh, clients, especially past clients, no matter how long ago you sold them a home. Um, it's just a really good time of year to be doing it because it's easy. For sure. And so, you know, uh, one thing I always like to say uh, as real, real estate agents, it's not our client's job to remember that we're real estate agents. It's our job to remind them. So I've got a couple of different uh, strategies on how to do that effectively. First of all is the re-engagement email and or hard copy, you know, snail mail letter. So get your, your, and of course, I think even backing it up, if you don't have a database of your sphere of influence and you don't have a, you know, an email list, that's where you have to start, obviously. 
So, you know, you need to start compiling these lists. Every one of our agents has a CRM with agent marketing. And so all of your, your sphere of influence need to go in there. Do it one by one. A lot of people have a spreadsheet you can just upload. So that's step one. You got to have a list to communicate to. So a re-engagement letter is basically just this. And I will send everybody a copy of this um, that's on the, on the line today. Uh, it's just saying exactly that. Hello, client. Hello, friend. You know, this is Kevin Lauren. I'm a realtor, remember? I'm still doing this. By the way, wanted to make sure that you have access to my website, which will give you access to the MLS. I'm here for, you know, uh, questions. You should all also have a small bullet point list of things that you can help them with, you know, with respect to, you know, listing and valuation of their home and taxation and things that you could probably help with. So just a, a very, very, it does not need to be long. You know, this, these, these communications should be very, very concise, but it's a, con, it's a communication and it is a reason to reach out. And so you always have to have a reason, you know, so that just this, Hey, just wanted to make sure that you know that I'm still doing real estate and I'm doing these, these jobs and all that kind of stuff is a great reason to contact them. And then, of course, you're going to send them a link to your website. On your website, you can have your testimonials. You can have all of your listings. You can have your past sales. And so um, just a really, really easy way to remind them. Um, another way, once you've, and I think everybody needs to do that, but as part of the re-engagement letter, you can also talk to that, your clients about a few different campaigns. And so I've done a lot of different webinars on the Move Up campaign where you are offering uh, that person, hey, if you're ready to move up to a, uh, you know, another property, I offer a discount when, you, when I am able to sell your, your, uh, your, your, your other property uh, when, you, when you go to move up. And so you can, whatever the, the price point is, you can decide on the, what that discount is. Sometimes it's a 1%, one, 1 it's kind of an easy way to do it. And that way they know, hey, this person, I'm going to get a deal when I use this person. So that's an easy one. Another one is to um, make sure that they know that you run a referral contest. Yes, a referral contest. Everybody should have a little contest where they're asking their sphere of influence for referrals. And so the, the theory there is literally once a month or once a quarter, whatever your budget uh, can afford, you wanna run this contest. And so anybody within your sphere of influence that sent you a referral, and I think quarterly is a really good way to do it. Um, you're going to put those, those uh, names into a hat or into a bag or something cool. You're going to film yourself picking out the, the, the name and say, hey, John Smith just won whatever it is that you're giving away. And so um, in the summertime, it's great to give away a grill or, you know, barbecue stuff. And in the wintertime, maybe it's more stuff like gift certificates or just, you know, wintertime winter time kind of items. So it's a really easy way to, again, recontact your sphere of influence once a month or once a quarter and say, hey, John Smith won the raffle. And that way you're perpetuating that. They're getting used to hearing you contact them quarterly. Um, and, and then as part of that, you also want to have a monthly newsletter to your sphere of influence. Can't tell you how important this is. Uh, Bill Seitz and I, when we ran uh, Baja Surf Properties, uh, selling uh, you know, coastal real estate in Southern Baja to you know, uh, Americans and Canadians, that single thing was the thing that re-engaged our client base and our sphere of influence the best. And we had the most success with uh, sales with that piece. And so I can't stress how important that is. Um, and then, of course, you're going to invite all these people to social media. And you're going to you know, ask them to like your Facebook page and to follow you on Instagram. And so that way, you're also getting the touches on social media as well. So those things, just, if you just do that, you're going to be way more top of mind when your sphere of influence people do come around and they're ready to make a purchase or they're ready to sell their home. Travis, what do you have to add there? 
Yep, I mean, you touched on uh, a few of the notes that I already had. Um, again, timing of the year is excellent for, you know, letting people know, hey, I do have this referral contest or I pay, you know, some sort of referral bonus or something like that, you know, whatever your, your um, program is to remind them of what it is. It's also a really, really good time of year to reach out and just send people the HUD, the final HUD statement from their home because they're going to need it for their taxes this year. So if they bought a home in 2018, they're going to need that document and, you know, they're going to scour their email or maybe they threw it away if they received it from escrow. But it's a good opportunity to just reach out and say, hey, you're going to need this. Uh, thanks for doing business with me last year. You know, as a reminder, I, I run this referral contest or, or whatever. Um, and, and then ask for business as well. So it's a good time to send out that piece. It's something that they're going to need. Um, and it's something they always appreciate as well. Um, I mean, that's brilliant. But, yeah, and then setting up the um, the newsletters. Um, it's a good time of year also to, you know, get your CRM going if you don't have one going already. Get, you know, a 12-month campaign in there for yourself. You can you can pre-do it if you want um, to go out over the next 12 months to people. Um, things to put into your CRM um, and to task yourself to reach out to your past clients is, you know, home anniversary day. Um, birthdays, things like that, information that you may or may not have, but more than likely have, ask yourself, you know, in, in six months, I need to reach out to, um, you know, the Joneses and, and say congratulations, it's been a year since you've been in your home, you know, um, it's just a good reason to pick up the phone and give them a call. Uh, another one is you talked about uh, asking them to follow social media. That's an excellent one. It, it's not... Sometimes you have to go a little further than that and connect with them on Facebook, you know, re request their friendship on, on Facebook and just don't ask them to follow you because they may or may not do that. Um, same thing with Instagram, find a profile, follow them. Maybe you'll get a follow back, hopefully. Uh, send them a message through there. Say, hey, you know, just want to connect. It's great working with you, so on and so forth. So it's a good time of year to kind of set all those kind of stuff up and set yourself up for a successful year. For sure. And then, you know, um, with the whole, you know, uh, referral program and move up program, um, those are great things to be posting on social media anyway. It's just good social media content. And, uh, you know, then, you know, that's where you do, a, you know, the, the 30 second video clip of you pulling the name out of the hat. Hey, John Smith just won this. And so just really, again, it's just good reasons to be contacting and touching people and, you know, reminding them that this is what you do. You're the expert here. Um, so super, super important guys. Um, remember also that, um, what I like to do is, you know, schedule a training session with me. So everybody knows, or everybody should know that you can go to calendly.com backslash alter realty group, and you can schedule a 60 minute training with me. And then that way we go through this, everything with, you know, on a screen share where we're looking at the same thing and I could help you structure this stuff. You know, I already have templates for some of the emails, or all of them, really. I've got templates for all this stuff. So I um, want to make sure that I make myself available to you guys so we can really be successful in 2019 and we get a plan going for every one of you guys. So don't hesitate to utilize me as a resource. That's why I'm here. Um, let's see. And then, hey, um, hey, Kevin. yeah, go ahead, Bill. Um, just, just listening here, just all, all really good stuff uh, that you and Travis have laid out. I, I think just from, from someone listening here and that has done some of these, uh, act, you know, activities and, um, homework assignments that you're referring to, I think that the biggest thing that the agents, if they're not doing this need to do, the hardest thing is getting your list together. If, if you don't have your list, take this is the time we're still in the beginning of January it's still a little bit slow it this is the time to, to review your list update it make sure the phone numbers are, are current the email addresses are current the addresses are current build your list get it in proper order and then it's easy and Kevin can help you automate a lot of this stuff a lot of this stuff is just done on automation at this point so the, the, the foundation is the list if you get the list in order 
you can start pushing out a lot of this messaging and a lot of this connecting so easy and Kevin can help you do it. So it, you know, you just, everyone's got to take the time to get their list in order and get it current. And then it's, then it's, then it's cake work and you'll start touching everyone in the, in the right interval that you want to do it based on whether it's, whether it's a, a newsletter or whether it's a, uh, a quick little text campaign or it's an email, whatever your pre preference is, it's basic from there. So that's just something I just wanted to add. No, that's huge. Yeah. 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 That's definitely part of getting started, you know, and just sitting down, knocking out the list of everything you have in front of you. And it doesn't have to be perfect the first time, but just get as many in, in there as you can. And when you're putting the information into the CRM, make it complete. Just don't put a name and a phone number, you know, put the address they're living at and any information so you can remind yourself, you know, especially if it's a client that was maybe two or three years ago, but, you know, it was a really good transaction and, you know, maybe you haven't been in contact with them and you want to start it up, you know, just put some notes in there for yourself so you can kind of remember it because as this list grows, you will, you will forget kind of some details. So just, do a good, that's, that's one of the biggest things with CRM is just be detailed with it. And what's kind of cool about it is, you know, whenever you need to do a mailing list, let's say, um, well, for instance, my, my real estate mentor, um, for 15 years, I've been receiving a, uh, a magnetic calendar from him every Christmas with a Christmas card, and that's what he does. And He's been consistent with it for 15 years, and he does it with all the clients. I mean, he's got a few thousand, you know, that he sends out every year in his database. And so if you're going to send out any kind of mailer at any point or anything like that, it's easy to just do an export of your CRM, and uh, you can take that and import it into any kind of, you know, direct mail uh, system or company and generate your mailers very, very easily. So... You know, it's, there's other things you can do with it as well, aside from just tasking yourself. So getting it yeah. built now is, is, is really important. And, even, and here's the export feature right here. So you literally just export all of your leads anywhere you want. Um, it, it just spits out a CSV file. Um, so yeah, I mean, as, as Travis said, I mean, you, if you're, even if your list starts out with 10 people, that's okay. As long as you start and you and you build on that, at the end of the year, you're going to have 100 people. You're going to have 200 people, whatever it is. Um, but you got to start, and you got to, you know, and, and just sending this out is not good enough. That, in my opinion, is a fail. You need to send this out and follow up with a phone call. You're a human being. Talk to these people. You know, make sure you have their information. Hey, just wanted to reach out, just see how you guys are doing. You know, make sure that you know that you know. I'm a professional realtor. This is what I do. You know, I don't know if we connected on that level yet, but just want to make sure that, you know, I do that. And here's my resources. I just sent you an email, you know, even if you're leaving a voicemail, everybody on your list in the month of January needs a phone call. And in my opinion, they need one once a quarter. Everybody on your list needs a phone call once a quarter, even if it's just a, a voicemail. Um, and that doesn't mean pound them and, you know, hounding your friends and calling them weekly. That's not what this is about. This is just friendly little reminders. We're not being obnoxious. We're being uh, proactive and we're being assertive, but not obnoxious. It's a fine line. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of that throughout the year where you can be emailing them stuff and let's say, okay, so, you know, tax season's coming up. Um, tax laws have changed. You know, that may affect some people and maybe you email out some information and then you're following up with a phone call just to make sure that they received it, you know? Um, yeah, and you're going to want to talk to some of these past clients, you know, a few times a year, um, just as a reminder, as well as, you know, sending them some, uh, you know, email communication, things like that. So there's, you know, think about some different times a year where it's really easy to just reach out to somebody and give them a little information. Um, one thing that one an agent does that I that I know is they always spend on on the home anniversary date they just do a CMA report for their home and uh, mail it out to them because people always like to know the value of their home. So, 100%. Um, yeah. 
so it, it takes a few minutes. I mean, a lot of the stuff's kind of automated these days anyways, and they just send them a nice little CMA and say, hey, congratulations, it's been a year, two years, three years, whatever. Look how much your equity's grown. Give me a call if you know they look and buy or sell. <laughs> you know? so, yep. Uh, and so pretty, those – Pretty easy to reach out. Yeah, and those are the things, Travis, of course, that are that build value. You're providing a valuable service to your clients. You know, you got to provide value, and that's the way you do it. Um, here's another great idea. When you got these guys on the phone, you're in your CRM, um, in under this notes, letters, IDX searches. Click on this, and we can we can set up a full-on IDX search that are this guy's criteria. So maybe he, you know, he's in, you know, Castaic and he's maybe looking for properties that are three bedroom, two bath. Well, we can create that and we can set this guy up with a complete, you know, uh, IDX search that will email him updates, you know, about, I think it's about once a week and it'll show him what's available. And so that is an, is an incredible way to stay top of mind and make sure that your clients are, you know, getting communications from you that are completely automated. You set it and forget it, but it's still doing its work. So those are kind of, you know, the, the I would say the basics of re-engaging your sphere of influence and, you know, making sure that you're top of mind with these clients and, and with people within your sphere of influence. And um, it doesn't cost you. No, no, I mean, these things are just, they are the, the things that you should be filling your time with. All the, the number one resource we all have is our time. And these are the kinds of things that you can do with your time to maximize what you're doing in 2019. Um, so I don't see any more questions in the uh, chat area. So we are going to wrap today's Wednesday webinar up. Really appreciate you guys taking the time. And just being on the webinars really says a lot, guys. You know, you're, you're focused, you're, you're, you're trying to, you know, further the career. That's a great start as well. So, uh, and also other webinars, you know, I, I, you know, like to go on other realtor web webinars. I like to go to mastermind meetings. All that kind of stuff is really, really important. So keep it up, guys. Travis, Bill, thank you guys for being on the line. Hey, Tom. And we will <laughs> absolutely guys. All right. With that said, we will uh, talk to you guys all next week and I will have the, uh, the replay of this webinar posted as soon as possible. Make it a great week and we'll talk to you guys soon.